What's up, wine tasters? Happy New Year. I'm so excited for 2018, and I have some amazing things in store for the Libations Academy channel for next year, so I can't wait. I really, really hope that sparkling wine is on your menu for New Year's Eve, because there is no better time Actually, there's always a great time for bubbles, but there's no greater time than to open up a nice bottle of champagne on New Year's Eve to welcome the new year. But of course, we don't want anybody shooting their eye out with a cork that's flying from across the room from somebody that is improperly opening up a bottle of champagne. So today, I want to show you how to safely and properly open up a bottle of sparkling wine. Okay, so what you wanna do first is to make sure your bottle is very cold because the warmer it is, the more likely it's going to explode. That's not good. So the first thing we wanna do is open up the foil and you can just do this with your hands or you can use a wine key if you want, but most of them have little tabs on them for you. Remove the foil and then we're going to open up the cage. One, two, three, four, five, six and loosen that up real nice. Okay, so now the cork is vulnerable to popping out. So from here on out, we're not going to remove our hand or our thumb from that cork. So that means we're gonna actually open up the bottle with the cage still on it. So I hold it kind of like this around the cork, and then you're going to hold it on the base as well. And you're going to tilt it at a 45 degree angle because believe it or not, if you were to open up the bottle like this, then it's more likely to shoot out the top and we don't want that. So hold the bottle at a 45 degree angle and then we're just going to slowly start twisting from the base. And you can twist it back and forth. I like to just kind of twist it all the way around. And while I'm doing this, I'm applying pressure to the top of the cork here. So I'm holding it in place because it wants to come out, but I'm holding it and like applying resistance while it's slowly coming out. And then just as we twist, we're going to let it come out with control. And as I'm doing that, and as it's coming out, we're going to slowly try to bend it because we don't want any uh, forced air or forced carbonation to come out. So it's gonna be very, very slow. And there you go. So there you have it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, safe New Year's Eve. Have fun, drink lots of bubbly for me, and I will see you in 2018. Cheers.